All right, come on, let's just do this. Let's do it before Tim gets back. He's, he's gone to get pizza. He's gone to get pizza. Come on, quickly, before he gets back. All right, um, okay, I'm, I'm prepared anything, by the way. Let's, let's see how we get on. Uh, it's, a, it's Jonathan Pye's uh, office Christmas party, New Year's Roundup. Yay! Um, all right, let's do it, okay. Oh, okay, well, the year started well, pretty much like any other, me wallowing in the stench of my own tequila-infused farts. But the, the only way is up, right? How bad can 2016 be? All right. Um, well, January started well. Boko Haram were abducting children in Nigeria. The European migrant crisis showed no signs of abating. The Zika virus was spreading, and junior doctors were getting really pissed off with Jeremy Hunt because the fact he was born in a hospital means he thinks he understands how they actually work. Um, February... Oh, yeah, Bill Turnbull leaves BBC Breakfast. Nobody thinks to give me a fucking ring. Um, David Cam Cameron announces a referendum for whether Britain should leave the EU. Pointless, as if anyone's going to vote to leave, for God's sake. Um, April. Oh, yeah, uh, leak at the Panama Papers. <laughs> it's, it's really weird, isn't it? Turns out the world's richest people also happen to be the world's biggest arseholes, who will do anything to evade tax and exploit the, the poor. Um, Syria, in Syria there were parliamentary elections, Obama pledged to deploy more troops, and a hospital in Aleppo was hit by missiles. Uh, the US blamed the Syrian government, the Syrian government said they didn't do it, and the Russian government said it didn't happen at all, which came as a surprise to the 50 or so people who were killed in the strikes that didn't actually happen. This was back in uh, April by the way. Um, what else? Oh, oh yeah, like, like a warning from the near future that, that democracy doesn't always go the way you might expect. The public vote to name an Arctic research ship, Boaty McBoatface. The vote is, uh, is overturned. Uh, the Labour Party did pretty well in elections, so uh, naturally there were calls for Corbyn to resign. Uh, what else? Leicester City. What? Uh, yes, Leicester City win the Premier League. Who gives a fuck? Um, Sadiq Khan became Mayor of London, in spite of Zach Goldsmith taking great pains to point out that the name Sadiq sounds a bit, you know, Taliban-y. Um, Ted Cruz dropped out of the Republican presidential race, leaving Donald Trump as the presumptive nominee. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief, partly because Ted Cruz is one of the few people who make Donald Trump seem like a nice person, but mainly because it meant Hillary Clinton had basically just won the White House. She begins work on her acceptance speech, uh, you know, but don't forget to engage with the electorate, Hillary. She'll be fine. Uh, where are we? Um, June. Uh, yeah, Paxman left Newsnight on my advice, and despite certain promises, it went to duplicitous Dragon's Den shitlord Evan Davis. Uh, nothing much else in June, apart, apart from, oh yeah, well, the UK did vote to leave the EU, and everyone goes insane. Cameron promises not to resign, then resigns. Boris Johnson says he'll run for leader, then doesn't. Michael Gove says he won't run for leader, then does. And Andrea Leadsom starts saying that all male nannies are probably paedophiles. Uh, Blairites in the Labour Party blame Jeremy Corbyn for the result, cue several shadow cabinet resignations and a vote of no confidence, but Corbyn vows to stay because apparently he was democratically elected by a huge majority of party members. Pedant. He ends up winning with an increased mandate. Um, oh, and, and following the precedent set by Boaty McBoatface, thousands march on Westminster demanding the result be overturned. Um, in America, Hillary Clinton becomes the presumptive president, sorry, <laughs> presumptive nominee for the Democrats. Um, the inauguration dress has been chosen, but she still can't decide hat or fascinator. Uh, the, the Colombian government announced a ceasefire with, with FARC guerrillas, a war that had raged for more than 50 years. Everyone was really, really happy about it, and all lasting peace required was a simple referendum to ratify the agreement. Shit. Um, oh, what, oh yes, did you see this in June, right? This mystical Chinese monkey predicted that Portugal would win the Euro Football Championship for the first time. Nobody believed it, of course, because it's a fucking monkey. Um, in July, however, Portugal win the Euro Football Championship for the, for the first time. Um, in the wake of Brexit, uh, Michael Gove stabs Boris in the back and off Boris goes never to be seen again. Andrea Leadsom runs for leader, then drops out because she's a climate change denying fucking Fruit Loop. Um, Theresa May becomes Prime Minister and makes Andrea Leadsom Environment Secretary. She also scraps the, the Minister for Syrian Refugees because, you know, it's not really a problem anymore, is it? And Boris comes back, but it's okay, nothing major, just Foreign Secretary. Um, right, yeah, yeah. Oh. Jesus. Um, oh, the Chilcot inquiry comes out, confirming that Tony Blair is a warmongering sociopath incapable of compassion or remorse. Blair rejects the report, of course, because he's a, a warmongering sociopath incapable of compassion or remorse. Um, ISIS are back, killing a priest in Normandy and driving a truck through innocent civilians in Nice. Can the world really get any worse? Uh, oh, yeah, Trump picks Mike Pence 
as his running mate. A man who believes that gays can be cured with psychiatry. Bernie Sanders drops out of the race and endorses Hillary Clinton. By this point, Hillary, she's choosing fucking curtains, the fucking pelmets for the Oval Office. She's got carpet swatches. She's picking out artwork. Bill, he's still waiting to hear what the Chinese monkey's got to say. Um, yeah, September. Oh yeah, that fucking shit pot Eamon Holmes says he's leaving Sky News and I don't even get a courtesy call. Fuck Rupert Murdoch. Um, Russia and America announce a new Syrian ceasefire deal. It ends 10 days later when an airstrike destroys a convoy of food and medical supplies in Aleppo. The US says Russia is to blame. Russia says terrorists are to blame. But who gives a fuck because fucking Bake Off is moving to Channel 4. What the fuck's going on? It's all going to shit. Fuck Syria. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt are split up. Oh yeah, and North Korea tested a nuclear warhead. Probably Jeremy Corbyn's fault. Um, oh, we had the first presidential debate. Trump admits he doesn't pay tax. He claims Hillary started ISIS and says he, he understands the intricacies of cyber warfare because he's watched his 10-year-old play Xbox. Hillary, meanwhile, begins bubble wrapping and boxing up her knickknacks ready for moving day. It's very exciting. Um, October, Dylan wins the Nobel Prize for Literature. Wonder Woman gets the job of UN ambassador. And in fashion, this this autumn's must have is a scary clown mask. Concerns are growing about fake news, mainly because most of the actual news sounds fucking made up. Oh yeah, oh and get this, that fucking monkey predicts that Donald Trump will win the presidency. What a dick. Does he not read the opinion polls? November, Donald Trump wins the presidency. Rather than giving a concession speech, Hillary gets drunk and locks herself in her hotel bathroom. Exactly what I do, to be fair. And the world finally goes mad. People start banning shit in the name of liberalism and tolerance. The British Gymnastics Association banned Louis Smith for the crime of blasphemy, somehow forgetting that we're not living in 17th century Salem. And students at the City University of London propose an opposing fascism policy, which leads to the ban of certain newspapers on campus. They actually misspelt the word fascism in their proposal, which may be why none, none of the students appear to have been able to look up what the word actually means. Uh, the High court rules that the government should vote on triggering Article 50. The Daily Mail calls the judges enemies of the people. And, and Michael Heseltine denies killing his mother's Alsatian. Uh, December, uh, Theresa May's snoopers charter is quashed by the EU High Court because apparently reading everyone's private emails and texts is, uh, what's the word again? Oh yeah, illegal. See, the EU has its uses. It's not all fishing quotas and Toblerone. Where, where are you going? I'm fucking, where are you going? Fuck's sake. December, uh, December, uh, ISIS are driving lorries into people again. Uh, in the UK, prisons start rioting due to chronic underfunding and a worrying reliance on private firms. Social care in the UK finally collapses under the weight of six years of unforgiving Tory austerity measures. George Osborne is suddenly back making speeches and Tony Blair threatens a return to politics. The NHS has hit the point of no return because of all the people to have lost their jobs this year. Jeremy fucking Hunt is still in charge of the nation's health, which really is the final turd floating on the sea of hot diarrhoea that was 2016. The White House has directly accused the Kremlin of electoral espionage. The president-elect has started posturing bigly with China over Twitter, regressing US and Chinese relations by about 30 years in just over a fortnight, proving that the president-elect is not only demonstrably sociopathic, but also fucking terrifying. US and Russian relations have not been this chilly for a generation and the Russian ambassador to Turkey just got assassinated in plain sight. But hey, it's not like an assassin's bullet has ever triggered a world war or anything, is it? You know, normally when you have a shit year, you, you kind of look forward to, to the new year, you know, a, a new start. Well, th this year I don't want this shit to end because I know what's coming next. I mean, I don't know what's coming next, but I do know what's coming next. Trump's inauguration and Brexit begins. But by virtue of those two certainties, everything else is uncertain. And I've still got this fucking job. How do you turn this fucking thing off? How do you turn this fucking...